Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi in mathematics, today we have a very interesting and in the same way this is a very tricky question x plus y equal to 10 and a product x times y equal to 22 and we need to find our x and y. How can we do this? You can also write your solution down into the comment section and in a few seconds we will check our answer, so it will be really interesting. So first of all let's use our basic school method, basic school algorithm. How can we solve this question? First of all x plus y equal to 10, let's rewrite this, this equation. So x plus y equal to mm, equal to 10. First of all, from here, let's express our, our x, our y, doesn't matter. Let's express, for example, our x, doesn't matter. So we have x equal to, we have 10 minus y, 10 minus y. And this is extremely important expression for us, because right now we're going to plug in this expression from first equation to the second equation into this spot. Okay, so we're going to plug in this expression right there. So first of all, as a result, what do we have right here? 10 minus y in parentheses, so 10 minus y. Uh, the next thing we're going to have y times y equal to equal to 22. And it looks like this is a quadratic equation, it looks like that, but let's simplify this a little bit. As a result, what do we have right here? 10y, so as a result, we have 10y minus y square equal to equal to 22. Right now let's change position because we prefer the second power on the first position, y on the second position, and little, that's it, yeah? So first of all, minus y square on the first position, so minus y square. The next thing we have plus 10y, and the last thing we have minus 22 from the right side. And right now the tricky move, we're gonna divide both sides by, or multiply, doesn't matter, it depends on, on what country you're in, and multiplying, division doesn't matter, so we're gonna multiply both sides, or divide, I take the multiplication, so multiply by minus 1. As a result, what we have? We have y square minus 10y and plus 22. This is our quadratic equation, and right now, right now, let's solve this quadratic equation. This is basic quadratic equation from school. We can easily write our coefficients if you don't know. So we have a equal to one, b equal to minus ten, and c equal to twenty-two. All right. So right now, let's plug in these coefficients into this spot. Let's find our discriminant b square minus four ac. As a result, we have b square minus ten square minus four times one times twenty-two. 22, and of course we can easily find it. It's not that hard. Minus 10 square equal to 100, minus 4 times 22 equal to 88. So as a result, right here we have 12. Our discriminant equal to 12, so it means that right here we have two uh, pairs of uh, roots, two pairs of solution, a real number solution, because discriminant is positive. So as a result, our y first and y second equal to we have minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a. Let's plug in each of these elements into this spot. So we have minus b minus b, b equal to minus 10, plus minus square root of discriminant, square root of discriminant, square root of 12, and all over 2 times a, 2 times 1, okay? Right now let's simplify this a little bit, because to be honest, minus minus is plus, so we have 10 plus minus, this square root of 12 we can easily write as, uh, so 4 times 3, yeah, we can easily write this 12 as 4 times 3 and we divide it by 2. So we hope you understand this step, we just simplify this in terms of like, in terms of like uh, basic school knowledge, we're gonna simplify it. Right now we can easily split this by 2 square roots, so as a result we have equal to, we have 10, plus minus square root of 4 times square root of 3 and we divide all of the thing by by 2. Right now we have 10 plus minus this square root of 4 equal to 2. This is all known fact. So we have 2 square root of 3 over 2. And a lot of students leave this uh, expression like that, but I prefer to divide numerator by 2. By this uh, common denominator I prefer that way. So we're gonna divide it by parts. So 10 divided by 2 plus minus 2 square root of 3, we're gonna divide by, by 2. And right here we have 10 divided by 2 equal to 5, and right here we're gonna cancel these two and these two. So as a result we have plus minus square root of, plus minus square root of 3. These are our pairs, y first and y second. So let's write it, uh, for example, uh, first of all let's write our y first, let's go with the plus sign, doesn't matter, so we have 5 plus square root of 3 and y second equal to 5 minus square root of 3. But don't forget that in the beginning we had a substitution. So let's write that since our x 
equal to 10 minus y. So from here, we're going to have x first and y uh, and x second. So we have x first equal to uh, 10 minus y. Let's go with the y first of so 10 minus this expression. So we have 10 minus 5 plus square root of 3. And of course, x second equal to 10 minus 5 minus square root of 3. Let's simplify this. Uh, it's not that hard. We will have like 10 minus 5 equal to 5, but with the negative sign right here, we need to change this sign inside parentheses. So we have 5 minus square root of 3. And absolutely the same thing we had in this case. So we have 5 plus square root of 3. So 5 plus square root of 3. All right. So right now let's write our, our pairs and in a few seconds we will check it. Let's see what will happen. So our x and y, let's separate this uh, part. So we have x and y equal to, let's go with the first pair. Let's go with the x first, y first. So we have 5 minus square root of 3, 5 plus square root of 3. So 5 minus square root of 3 and 5 plus square root of 3. And the second parentheses, we have 5 plus square root of 3, 5 plus square root of 3 and 5 minus square root of 3. And right now let's check this root. And why we need to check only one pair? One pairs? Because in the beginning we had, I'm, I'm going to write this uh, stuff right here, so we have x plus y equal to 10 and x, y equal to 22. And why I need to check only one of these? Because we have addition, so doesn't matter x plus y, y plus x, so doesn't matter we're gonna add this one to this one or this one to this one, we have absolutely the same thing. So addition is also great for us because 2 plus 3 equal to 3 plus 2, so doesn't matter, we can check only one of these roots. And to be honest, the same thing with multiplication. 5 times 4 equal to 4 times 5, yeah? So we can easily check. For example, let's start with this with this addition. So we're going to add x plus y. So 5 minus square root of 3 plus 5 plus square root of 3. So minus square root of 3 plus square root of 3, we can easily cancel this. 5 plus 5 equal to, equal to 10. And we have this 10 right here. So our addition works absolutely great for us. And it's really great. Right now, let's check our multiplication. We have right here multiplication. So we're going to have like another expression. So we're going to have like 5 minus square root of 3 and 5 plus square root of 3. And a lot of students are multiplying parentheses by parentheses, but if you look closely, right here we have mm, basic school identity. Just look at it. So when we have a square minus b square, this is equal to a minus b times a plus b times a plus b, all right? So this is our basic school identity. And if you look closely, 5 is our a, square root of 3 is our b, 5 is our a, square root of 3 is our b, so this is our a minus b times a plus b. So in terms of like school knowledge, we can easily write it as, as 5 square, all right? So we're going to write it as 5 square minus b square, but b equal to square root of 3, we're going to write it to the second, to the second power. And as a result, we have 25 minus 3 because we're going to cancel this. So we have, we have 22. So as you can see, our roots is absolutely are absolutely great for us. Addition works perfectly. Multiplication, multiplication works perfectly. So our roots are absolutely, uh, absolutely correct. We talk about a correct, a correct solution, I guess. So we take, we have two pairs. And to be honest, a lot of students are confused why we don't need, why we need, we don't need to check the second pair. But j just look at it. So when we check the second pair, when we check addition, for example, we have five plus square root of three plus five minus square root of three. Yeah, we're gonna cancel this one and this one, and as a result, we have absolutely the same thing as before. But we considered it as um, like a different position. So this one we wrote on in the beginning, in the previous step, we wrote it on the left side, this one on the right side, but we have absolutely the same 10. And to be honest, we will have absolutely the same thing right here. We will have 5 plus square root of 3 and times 5 minus square root of 3. So we have absolutely the same thing. We just change position, but in terms of multiplication, doesn't matter because like 10 times 2 equal to uh, 2 times 10. So we can easily swap these parentheses, so we don't need to check this second second purse okay so absolutely correct uh, root we check it we prove it so let's write our final answer so our final answer to this question i hope you understand it i hope you learn something new so our x and y we're gonna have two pairs so absolutely the same line as we wrote it before so we have five minus square root of three five plus square root of three and the same parentheses five plus square root of three and five minus square root of three 
these are the solution to this question two pairs real number solution i, I want to mention because a lot of uh, this type of question uh, we can easily solve it in terms of like uh, complex numbers but right here we have real number solution which is also which is also really great so i really want to say thank you everyone for your support for your likes i really appreciate it when you leave your comment when you leave your, your respond down into the comment section and i hope you i really hope you understand my explanation i really hope you learn something new if you don't understand it you can also re leave your comment leave your answer leave your question what do you want to know what do you want to see on my youtube channel and i really appreciate your support your likes it helps me a lot it inspires me a lot to make new content every day and i hope that um, everything is great and i hope you learn something new on my youtube channel we have almost like 1000 k subscribers i really appreciate it uh, for your support for your likes and we move forward i wanted to make new videos every day new content every day so i really hope you enjoy it so thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and see you in the next videos